In our last video, we explored compelling links connecting the countless Neolithic ruins which litter much of the world, long claimed as the work of separate Stone Age groups who, due to the claimed era of construction, supposedly never made contact. Flint-wielding ancestors, attributed with inexplicable trilithons many tons in weight, incredibly precise alignments, and an impressive, intimate knowledge of some of the most complex of solar orbits known to man. We posited that, regardless of the claimed isolation of these separate groups, the similarity found among many Neolithic buildings is unarguable evidence, suggesting that Neolithic man either didn't create these structures or they were not the primitive nomad they have long been claimed as, but were instead a world-going, world-dominating superpower who built the same enigmatic barrows and henges the world over, the Harhug. These mystifying Neolithic structures are conveniently rarely explored. This may be due to their existence being a difficult task to explain. Claimed as that of tombs, it is the sheer number of them, however, which makes their existence a baffling thing to explain. As mentioned previously, many of the building types dating from the Neolithic age turn up on more than one continent. Yet the Harhug and its once enormous collection of over 600 individual so-called tombs are unique in their shape and style. Currently claimed as having belonged to the ancient settlements of the Funnel Beaker culture, who lived around 3000 BC, and although, as mentioned, there were once approximately 600 of them, the Harhug have been getting actively destroyed since their rediscovery in the modern age, with over half of them now having been destroyed to date. The megalithic tombs are built with large, rough stone slabs, each arranged into different random patterns. Ernst Sprockhoff, who created the six-category classification for Neolithic dolmens, classified them as extended dolmens. The other five types are simple dolmen, great dolmen, passage grave, long barrow, and cyst. Discovered in 1925 during excavations of Earth for the construction of the Hindenburg Dam, they were regardless largely ignored and have been little investigated since, with a brief archaeological inspection having took place in 1936. The Nurhag, a stone structure with a similar enigmatic, yet unique and once an equally numerous ruin, is a Stone Age dwelling we have previously covered. Found on the island of Sardinia, they are the main type of ancient megalithic edifice found in Sardinia, yet rather differently to the lack of attention given to the mysterious Harhugs, the Nurhag have come to be the symbol of Sardinia, and indeed its distinctive culture. And dwarfing the 60 Harhugs, more than 7,000 Nurhags have been found to date, though archaeologists believe that originally there were more than 10,000. And this could quite possibly be the case with the Harhugs as well, for in reality, no one can say for sure who built them, why they built them, or perhaps most importantly, when in human history this took place. Although little is known regarding the Harhugs, they are undoubtedly an incredible collection of Stone Age relics, ones which we find highly compelling.